to do YouTube, man. This your boy Darkside, man. But yo, changing the name, got the name idea and stuff like that. But yeah. But yeah, I was talking to my homeboy the other day, man. Just wanna let y'all know, man. Certain people you can't talk stuff about, man. My homeboy, I was talking to him about uh what was going on, but uh yeah, but I checked my load board, my next load suck. I, you know, if you driving in and you out here driving, man, well your company has a load board and stuff like that, you can um check yourself and I, I check it I check it myself just to see what's going on in the area before I even put in the empty car and I'll let my driver manager know that hey that's low I want that low. But hey do that that's a good idea man because some companies got the low board open for all owner operators who don't work for them to pull their freight uh who looks for lows. I think I think you have to be under the authority. I don't know how it works but you can pull loads from nights um if you work for any other company you can pull your load from them. Just wanted to say, man, some people you ain't talked to nothing about. Like I told my homeboy the other day about the drone, and uh, he talking about, man, I'm going to crash it, and he going to watch the video of me crashing it because it ain't easy to fly. And I said, hey, have you ever had one? And he said, no. So I'm thinking, like, so why would you say that then? Uh, he couldn't give me a good reason why. Oh, man, I had an RC car. That's an RC car. This is a drone. It flies in the air. What is an RC car compared to drone? Oh man, RC, da, da, da. let me tell you something. If you ain't never had none, don't even talk bad about it. Cause you know what? You the, you the main, that, that person right there be the main person who really ain't got your back for real. Cause you know what I'm saying? And I'm starting to learn that uh, about certain individuals, man. They sit there and talk like that. You know what I'm saying? They sit there and try to throw dirt on your name, trying to knock you off your goal, man, because I ain't, cause to me it sounded like some hater stuff and I had to ask other people opinion that I'm close to like my mom, my my stepmother and um and I had to ask my homie, uh one of my one of my friends, I had to ask her about it. She said, Oh yeah, haters gonna hate. That's the first thing she said. Ain't nothing else come out of her mouth but that. So I had to watch what I say, man. You know what I'm saying? To this individual. It's like when I told him I want an M five and I'm that's one of my goals to always have an M five and BMW M five. And all he can say, oh man, the insurance is high. And do instead of saying, oh man, you gonna get it, da, 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 you knocking me down on trying to, you you giving me ideas in my head not to buy it. Instead of saying, oh man, you gonna get it, man. It's cool you had it, call man, go on here. Instead of saying that, he didn't say it like that. He said it a whole different way. You know what I'm saying? This iPad stuff is amazing, man. But. I was sitting here playing with the ruler because you can use the ruler to uh yeah that is dope now i might keep this thing just for that because that that is crazy but uh just wanted to say man uh certain things you can't talk about to people man certain things you got to keep to yourself and the best thing is when you can talk about it one time and shut up don't say nothing else about it because i'm learning that for myself man I gotta shut up because I'm talking to people probably who envy me and I don't know who the enemy is sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But I'm cool with certain people and I'm thinking they are right to talk to about certain things. But now I'm learning that. For now on, I will keep it to myself and I won't say nothing else about it. But hey, I'll talk to y'all about it anytime. I'm getting the drone, I'm excited about it. I'm really excited about the drone. Uh, the drone, I would not be flying no drone in 20 mile an hour weather, really. I'll, just, I'll fly it out there in the mountains and stuff so everybody can see what's going on. I want to fly it out west. When I'm out west, where the viewpoints are and everything, and it's beautiful. That's why I want to fly. But me crashing? No, I'm not going to crash my drone. It's not going to happen. I won't even I won't even let it crash. I'll be right there to catch if it do fall. <laughs> but it's just, it's just funny for somebody to sit there and say that. And I kind of thought it was kind of some hater stuff, man. Ain't no reason for you to talk like that, you know? So, why? I don't know why when people talk like that, but but I'm just at this point, man, where in my time, man, I'm investing into something that can benefit me in the long run. So, I look at it like as an investment. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you start CDL school, you're going up like this. You're going up. And then some people, they, they get into this truck, they get into the truck industry or whatever kind of career they in, and then they drop back down because they're getting comfortable. So they lose that intensity to do something better. You know what I'm saying? When you when, but 
that's why I'm at. I'm at this point where I'm grinding high, but I don't want to go down low because I don't want to get comfortable doing just one thing in my whole life, man. It's more things that I want to accomplish in my life, and I want to see myself get better. I'm obsessed with improvement, and every, I think everybody should be obsessed with improvement. You should be obsessed to get your own your everything, your own business, your own way to get yourself paid. You don't need to work for nobody for, until you work for somebody until your stuff start to grow. But you know what I'm saying? Sometimes life is a game of risk, man. You have to take risk in life. If you don't, you're going to be stuck in the same place you are making that amount of money knowing you're worth more than that. I'm worth more than uh, 60000 however, how many thousand a year. I'm worth more than that. You know what I'm saying? I'm worth, to me, I want to make a half a million a year. Half a million. You think I'm going to make that here? I'm not going to make that. I'll make a million dollars and... At, uh, at this company probably X amount of years. I don't know. I have to do the math. You know what I'm saying? You got to grind and keep grinding all the way to the, into the end of your life, man. Because your family, because just say in the middle of this grind, in the middle of that grind, just say you got comfortable and look, now you got a baby coming. And then you all the way dropped all the way down to the bottom again. Now the baby coming. Now you want to grind, grind, grind. And then you slow down, you get comfortable again. You gotta you gotta keep that intensity and that integrity, man, to keep going, man. You gotta keep grinding up the chart, man. You gotta climb that chart, man. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing for you. What the? Oh crap. I I'm sorry, I just seen my 70. <laughs> and uh it didn't look so pretty. I only got six hours on my 70. Oh no. Crap. Hey, I don't know what the heck just happened. Six hours. Oh yeah, it's time for a thirty-four hour reset. But uh, I guess I didn't get that many hours back last night. And yeah, I've been driving the crap out of this truck. So, so just keep that integrity, man. Keep grinding. Stay focused. Stay hungry. You gotta stay hungry for success, man. This ain't success. What I'm doing is bless. It's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? It's only for. It's only temporarily because God is preparing me for something bigger than this bigger he's showing me where i'm gonna be traveling you gotta see you gotta look out you gotta look from the look you gotta look for um look in a different perspective of things like this guy going guy showing me i'm gonna be traveling man the world i ain't but i can't can't travel no truck i can't travel the world on no truck because you know what i'm in this truck all the time you know what i'm saying i like doing what i do i i enjoy it because i love traveling man this is my thing you know what i'm saying so but i do my thing out here man and i'm grinding hard and this is what I'm working on. You know what I mean? So some people don't understand. You know what I'm saying? You got your own dream. You got your own way of living. I don't live my life reckless. You know what I'm saying? I don't live like that. I don't so I don't listen to rap all the time either. I, I play some I play some stuff that I can learn. When I'm driving, I play podcasts, man. So I something I can learn from or you know what I'm saying? Like I don't wanna listen to no stuff like that all the time, man. I don't wanna cause it influence you and it kinda gets in your head. You know, I listen to rap music, I listen to rock music, I listen to jazz, I listen to all kinds of different things, you know? So that's all I wanna say, man. I appreciate all my subs, man. I appreciate everybody who believes in your boy and invest in invest your time to come watch my videos. I know I got like 40 views sometimes, 60 views. I, that's like a small theater, man. I appreciate y'all guys. Appreciate you guys coming through, man. Um, it kind of makes me, uh, what's up? It kind of makes me happy that you guys are commenting. I like that you guys comment, thumbs down the videos, likes, whatever, man. It tells me that you guys are interacting with the channel, and I like it a lot, man. So if you guys will keep liking the videos, thumbs down, comment, whatever. If you don't like the video, tell put it in the comment section. Tell me what you want to see, but I ain't—I can't appease everybody because still at the end of the day, this is what I do, and um, most people like what I do anyway. But I appreciate you guys stopping by, man. Uh, I'm finna get up out of here, do this pre-trip, go drop this load off. This is dropping hook, and I got another load going 245 miles. But yeah, this iPad pen, this Apple pencil is not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, I guess I can show y'all what it do. This is what it does. Uh, like it can sense pressure. Like I can, I can, I guess I can show you with the marker. It senses like it senses when it's tilted, and it's really for the pe people who like to draw. Like it can sense it like this. See, it's tilted, and then when I go straight up forward, it won't do that no more. Just wanted to show you. Yeah, Cause some people say they don't even know nothing about this product, but it's pretty decent. Like you know, and then look, say if it's tilted again. 
see how it it knows the iPad, the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil is like one of the things that it knows what it's doing. So, but just wanted to say, man, I appreciate everybody stopping by, man. And I'm like, kind of like my homeboy kind of like, man, it didn't get on my skin, but it kind of made me think about what the heck he be saying. And most like, I remember one time he lied to me about getting a headset that he said he had. And then I asked him a couple months, I asked him like three weeks later about that same headset because we play, we are gamers. So we, I play games with him on play PlayStation or whatever. And I asked about that same headset and we talk on the phone with him because I asked about that same headset and he said he didn't have the headset. And I, ch and I ain't check him about it because I'm like, I ain't his mom, I ain't his mama or his daddy. I don't care if he didn't buy it. But the fact that he lied to me about something, something that small, I mean, he lied to me about something bigger too. So I watch my back, I watch my back and I listen to what people say. I go by the first thing you say and you can't change the first thing you say because I let it ride. Like my dad say, man, time will always tell the truth, man. You know what I'm saying? You can lie today, and I and I will never find the truth, bro. But I'll let it slide, and, and then ask you a down line when you forgot all about it, and ask you the same question, then you lie to me. Then I know you lying. Then I know you somebody I gotta watch out for. But yo, this your boy Dark Side for the minute. But uh, the name is probably gonna be Antonio. Late. Antonio HD. But yo, I got a phone call, man. I'm gonna catch y'all later, man. This your boy Antonio HD. But I'm gonna just say Antonio because HD is just some extra so I can put it at the end. But yo, I'm gonna catch y'all later, man. This your boy Antonio, man. Holla at y'all boys later. Holla at your gents. Holla at your women. Whatever it is. So for all my haters out there, man, close your eyes and picture me, brother. I'm out because I just exposed one. Peace.